I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, it's Friday, September 28, 2012. I'm Trenton. And I'm Clea. We've got sports today. The Bulletin is on. Activities of the week, Friday, September 28th, weight room is open at 2.30 p.m. Boys tennis is at home with Port Townsend at 4 p.m. Girls volleyball is at Highline High School, JV at 5, varsity is 6.15. Football takes on North Kitsap starting at 7 p.m. at Paul's Bow. Saturday, September 29th, cross country is running at the Curtis Inn Fight at 12 p.m. Staff and students, now it's time for our weekly sports segment. Good morning, I'm Alan. And I'm Orion. And there's another great week in night sports. The football team continued to win Friday night beating North Mason, and they showed class while they did it, 58-31. In tennis, the Knights took on North Mason and won both singles and doubles. Bryson and Colbeth, Spencer Stewart, and Tim Sterling each won in two sets. In doubles, Tyler Enlow, Jay Jarvis, Bo West, Nick Torres, Andrew Hill, Derek Baker, Drake Baker, and Zach Zerbrug won in two sets as well. However, it was a different story on Wednesday against Kingston with Tim Sterling winning at singles, and Drake Baker and Zach Zerberg winning doubles. For girls soccer, the game was suspended in Port Townsend due to a broken goal. That goal will be rescheduled. In volleyball, we had a match in Port Townsend, but we had no report on how they did. For cross country, our team scores were not reported, but Caleb Smith placed third with a time of 13.21. Nick Noble placed fourth with a time of 13.23. Josh Burton placed seventh in a time of 14.05. James Bonnockski placed eighth, and Cyrus Torgerson placed ninth. Great job, guys. On the girls' side, Elizabeth Quintana placed fifth with a time of 18.23. The football team is away against uh, North Kitsap, who we are currently tied for in first place. That's sports. Go Knights. Attention all Knights. Black Student Union will be Tuesdays, not Thursdays, in the Commons. Everyone is welcome. Interested in learning more about French-speaking cultures and customs? Come join the French Club today after school in room 246. Hope to see you there. Are you in interested in science, school engineering, and math and planning on attending OC? Please. Olympic College is hosting a science, engineering, and mathematics information night on Monday, October 15th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. You'll learn more about their transfer degree programs, the MS MESA program, and get to, your, get to tour the science and technology facilities. Professors and advisors will be on hand to answer questions. School pictures are at the finance window. If you ordered school pictures, please pick them up from Miss Mabe. Students, are you looking for a rewarding way to earn community service hours necessary to meet graduation requirements? Naval Avenue Elementary School is just a short walk away is needing volunteers to help in both Spanish immersion and regular classrooms. There are some students from Spanish-speaking families that know little English. One opportunity would be to serve as a volunteer interpreter in the kindergarten classroom. Please see Miss Gordon in room 109 before school if you are interested. Thank you. ASL Club meets in room 130 every Monday afternoon from 2.15 to 3.15. Come enjoy some games and snacks and learn about what we'll be doing this year. The ESA organization offers a variety of scholarships. One is for a student planning on attending college in Utah, another for a business major, and yet another for a student that has epilepsy information. An application is available online. Check out the Career Center for ESA site information. Help Q Club eliminate maternal and neonatal tetanus. A newborn dies every nine minutes from tetanus. Over 100 million women in more than 30 countries need our help. $1.80 can protect a woman and her future newborns from this painful disease. Your Q Club is collecting donations during lunches. By donating, you can be a part of making a good change in the world. The Jean Jarez, Jarez Academy is offering a $1,000 scholarship if you are planning on attending this career school. Please come to the Career Center for more information. The Bremerton Elks is offering modest scholarships for the students planning on attend a two or four year college and for student planning on attending a vocational or technical course. Both of these scholarships <laughs> offer the opportunity to advance to district, state, and national competition, earning more scholarship funds. Come to the Career Center for more information. 
Are you interested in applying to a military academy such as the U.S. Air Force Academy, Coast Guard Academy, Merchant Marine Academy, West Point or Naval Academy? Getting accepted to a military academy is the equivalent to receiving a full-ride four-year college scholarship worth well over $200,000. There is an information night this Thursday night at 5 p.m. at the Norm Dix Government Center to learn the process of gaining a nomination to one of these schools. For more information, come to the Career Center. Preseason boys basketball meeting on Thursday, October 4th in the Commons by the Knights Cafe. Attention freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, the PSAT test is coming. There are several reasons to take the PSAT test. First, it's an excellent way to prepare for the SAT, one of the two main tests accepted by a four-year colleges for admissions. Second, this test is used to qualify juniors for the National Merit Scholarship Program. The test will be offered only once this year at Bremerton High School, and the date is set for Wednesday, October 17th. Signups will be taken in the main office on a first-come, first-served basis. In order to sign up, bring $15 to the main office ASAP. On Saturday, September 29th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., the court on Kitsap to reduce substance abuse co coalition, Kitsap County Sheriff's Office, Port Orchard Police Department, and Federal Drug Enforcement Administration, and part partnering in a medicine take back event in two locations. One location is the Kitsap County Sheriff's Office in the Kitsap Mall, located near the food court. The other location is the City of Port Orchard Police Department at 546 Bay Street in Port Orchard. This event gives people a fast, free, and safe way to dispose of unused and unwanted prescription and over-the-counter medicines. Birthdays! Marinal Vargas. And your weekend birthdays, Ashley Dean. Noah Keith. Christopher Felaciano. Bethany Gimlin. Anthony Santos. And Curtis Lesh. And Caleb Petrowski. Happy birthday, Ashley! And your daily thought, it's a proven fact that students can catch up on their sleep. Give yourself an extra couple of hours this weekend. And your daily joke. Why did Sarah fall off the swings? I don't know. Because she had no arms. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not Sarah. Babe! <laughs> <laughs> <Hey! laughs> Stay there. And this day in history, in 1920, eight Chicago White Sox players were indicted for fixing the 1992 World Series and the Black Sox scandal. In 1924, two U.S. Army planes landed in Seattle after completing the first round-the-world flight in 175 days. And that was your bulletin.